All right, what's going on? Salute, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for being here. Throw me some love on the channel if you don't mind. Keep the comments, like, and let's get to it. Um, beautiful day here, Chiang Mai, Thailand. We actually got some rain last night uh, for the first time in three months, which was very nice. It's actually pretty cool today, a little bit more humid. Temperatures have come down 85 degrees, but we have cleaner air. It's beautiful. It's a lot cooler. It's nice. It cleaned it up a little bit. So with that said, things are pretty good. About to head to work, about to go uh, open up open up the uh, shop. But one of the things that I did not uh, foresee was the amount of hate that I would get sometimes. And I'm not talking about on this platform because I also do TikTok as well. Well, I'm actually, I've got, you know, almost 20,000 followers on TikTok. But I get a lot of love, but I also get a lot of hate. I get people calling me. I get people telling me, well, this shit's gonna fall apart. You know, I'm paying this chick. You know, I'm giving her money, and as soon as the money's gone, she's gone. I've got all kinds of stuff, you know? And I'm talking about just a video talking about how I was met at the airport uh, when I came back from America recently, and she had a bouquet of flowers that she made for me. And it, 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 just something even positive, I get tons of hate on it. So with that said, like, this isn't the first video I got hate on, but... To be fair, I got to a point where it just it just makes it just empowers me even more. You know, I I, I appreciate the hate. Like, go on and hate while you watching over there from the west where everything's collapsing. You know, um, it's amazing how people don't want to see people happy. You know, it's like, you know, even the, when it comes to the guys that leave America to come and search for, you know, a better life. Which let me go ahead and say this. Listen to me, women do this too. Many women move here and do the same thing I'm doing. Not looking for a man, just like I didn't come here looking for a woman. I was perfectly content being single, rocking solo, just finding my groove, living a happy life, cost of living, financial freedom, uh, low inflation. Um, I love it. The weather's great. The vibe is good. People don't even watch freaking TV here. You know, it's just people just... It's a, it's a more collective mindset. I can't describe it. You can you can only understand this if you if you've ever been here before. But you know, people can't even stand seeing that. People can't stand seeing that. Well, you know, it makes people angry when you do what's best for you. When you make the decision to step outside the box that they've created for you to stay in, and God forbid, you step outside of that box or that line of thinking. It's amazing to me. How many people literally sit back and waste their time to comment some shit on some video they don't like? You know, this says a lot about them. And you're gonna have to get used to this, especially if you choose to come here and document your journey, which I think you should. If you feel that, if you feel compelled to do that, you wanna document your journey, which me, many people do, you know, as digital nomads or coming over here, opening a business, they wanna talk about visas, the cost of living. And, and, and most of the stuff I even talk about on TikTok is not controversial because TikTok will quickly pull your videos down if you do, um, especially here. You know, there's a different algorithm here. You know, I still get a lot of stuff, but I see a lot of videos, especially if there's any type of physical contact, altercation, even if it's, a, you know, something that's run on the, you know, the local news, those videos will be scrapped real fast. So... <laughs> But it's crazy how many people sit back and hate. So my advice is to embrace it, man, to, 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 to literally thank the haters. And thank you, motherfuckers. I appreciate it. You guys are pathetic. You know, if it don't bother you that my dusty ass is leaving, then shut the fuck up about it, you know? If it, bo if it doesn't bother you that, you know, I'm some broke dusty you think I, I gotta come over here and find chicks who can't speak English, quote unquote, or, you know, pay chicks and all this shit, man, you know, good. Have your thoughts, have your opinions. I'm happy that you're that miserable. Because the truth is, is on, especially on TikTok, all you gotta do is swipe up, finished, next video. I am not gonna sit here and waste time commenting on someone's video. If I don't like it, I swipe up and I'm on to the next. So to be honest, like there has been some other um, types of, uh, I would say passive aggressive stuff when it comes to my other social media stuff, you know, cause I keep my Facebook kind of tight, but I have people that don't 
say anything or like any of my stuff anymore. You know, even family members and stuff that were supposedly proud, you know, of this decision. It was a big decision. Um, I had a lot of people that tried to doubt it. Not everyone. I had a lot of people that supported me as well. And some of those people still do. So this isn't everyone. But to be honest, it's like, I don't give a fuck about your hatred. I don't care. I just don't. The only reason for this, me making this video, is to talk to the people who will potentially face this when they come. If you choose to make the decision to, to do something drastic and extreme in your life, to start over, move to a new city, move to the other side of the country, move to another country, open up a business, you're going to have doubters and you're going to have haters. And you're going to be surprised at some of them. Some of them are really... Um, that you thought had your back the whole time will just fall off. You know, a lot of the people that you've known for a long time, they won't necessarily hate, but they will just stop interacting at all. You know, they'll, you know what I'm saying? They, they won't like your stuff anymore. They won't follow it. Even like just basic generic stuff, you know, it's kind of crazy to me, but it also reinforces the reason why I came here in the first place. You know, I'm tired of fake ass people. I'm tired of the fake ass media. I'm tired of, what's being done to the West, the, the, the PSYOP, when it comes to the, to the media, the, the propaganda, when it comes to, you know, living from one extreme event to another, to, to, to the mass events that continue to happen. You know, everyone's having to sit here and just stress about the election coming up. I love not having to stress about it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, life goes on. Um, now, what I said, I love it here. I'm happy. Like, it's a very personal and interactive society. Um, there's always something going on. The people are just absolutely outstanding. This is especially the locals and, and a lot of the flings that come here as well. And it, it, it's just crazy sometimes when I stop and think about it, you know. Um, but it's something that you have to be prepared for if you decide or if you're thinking about coming here which I think you should. Just be prepared for this. It is a world away. You're not going to have anything in common with these people anymore. You know, the people that talk shit most likely have never been here or they came on two-week vacations, you know, and, and they went to, like, Pai and they went and rented girls, you know, for a couple nights here and there. Or they came here and got fleeced and had their heart broken, um, you know, just out here partying and, you know, not having anything about themselves. Um... These are the type of people that are jaded, or it's most likely people that have never been here, or people that just don't understand it. You know, they're afraid to step outside their shell. Basically, they're too chicken shit to do what you're thinking about doing, or to think about what I've done. You know, to come to a foreign country halfway across the world, 12 time zones apart. Like, literally, right now, it's about it's 5, 5.30 p.m. here. It is 5.30 a.m. in Atlanta right now. So it is literally that different to, to the point of I have nothing in common anymore. And this is no disrespect. I love my family. I love my friends. I love those who have supported me. And I even love the people who don't. I'm not going to sit here and waste and give my negative energy like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to let it affect me. But with that said, sometimes when you're on to something, you're going to get the most resistance and you have to be prepared for that. Don't take it personal, because it ain't personal. It's personal with them. People are not going to understand. People are going to talk you out of it. They're going to hold you back. You just have to be committed and pull the trigger. Many people that come here and do exactly what I'm doing, and I'm talking about women too. Listen, it ain't just men coming here. Man, a lot of women come here and, and move here because they like the simple life. They love the markets. They meet other friends here. You know, a lot of women are digital nomads now. You know, like I would argue it's about half and half. Seriously, like it's not just guys coming here who can't get laid. This is the most vile stereotype I've heard. Like it's a lot of couples. It's a lot of older people that come here. It's a lot of, um, you know, groups of, of churches, groups of women, groups of men, but humanitarian type stuff. You know, it's, it, 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 and most of the people I meet are on multiple destination, you know, journeys if you will and they're coming through thailand they'll spend about a month here they'll travel all throughout and then they're on to vietnam india japan something like that it's crazy the stereotypes are 99 percent wrong 
there are a few stereotypes and this really typically applies to the party towns like you know Pattaya, Phuket especially but even like Bangkok man there's temples there's markets there's there's uh, sporting events there's river cruises dinner cruises there's rooftop stuff it's not all parties and soy cowboy or nana plaza or whatever like there are a few areas but bangkok is a huge ass city it's it's as big as new york to me it's huge endless endless um but it, it's nothing like that man there's still plenty of like cultural uh culturalism and like like uh, people that uphold traditions every morning people still try to keep things clean there are certain areas but you just notice this is any city in the world so don't worry or let the hate stop you just get to like you're gonna have to accept it you're gonna get it who cares who gives a shit they're over there mad steaming so mad that they got to comment on my videos while wow, i'm sitting here surrounded by beautiful Beautiful palm trees, beautiful weather, night market number one, night market number two over here, opens up in about 20 minutes. You know, there's like renting scooters, driving around, getting tuk-tuks, meeting people, meeting friends, Even, and especially like how men and women get along. It's, it's just completely different. I wouldn't change it for the world. Let them hate, let them hate. And listen, if you wanna hate on this video, cool. You'll help the algorithm. Like, let's just, let, like, for real. Negative comments help the algorithm. So, you know, for all those people that call me gay or say I'm paying some chick, man, get the fuck out of here, man. Like, it, it really literally angers these people so much sitting in mom's basement eating Cheetos to comment on my video about a girl that does some, some nice things for me. You know what I'm saying? It's ridiculous. But, guys, you're going to get these types of comments, too. Just... Don't let it fade you. Man, you live your fucking life and you let the trash take itself out because it will. You will see, you will lose people. Yes, you will. There's The distance factor is one of the main reasons you'll lose people, but you'll have nothing in common anymore. And that's a big thing to let go. That if I go home, back to America, I'd have nothing to talk about except for my experience here in Thailand. Like that's all I wanna talk about. It's been the most exciting thing. Um, like living here like it hasn't been all perfect no but it's been you couldn't pay me to go back to the west i would be miserable like even just going back recently i at three or four days i was ready to come back i love it here man for real i love the prices the cost of living the standard of living it's just quality um the people are just kind and respectful the traditions the culture the food is outstanding um but it's just a great place to be so let the haters hate, know, know that it's coming. Don't let it stop you. Don't let it deter, deter you from making that choice if you're considering this. It's a big decision. You're gonna really have to close some doors that you don't really wanna close. But if that's what's compelling you, your intuition, your gut's telling you, don't let it stop you. But just understand what's coming, especially if you document your journey. But with that said, I love y'all and I appreciate it. And listen, thank you haters. I appreciate it. You have, um, you've really just inspired me to keep on going. When I get people making comments like I'm gay or half gay, uh, I, it just makes me chuckle. I like responding, which helps the algorithm even more. I appreciate it. Keep on hating, but man, what a loser. You know, the real loser is you guys that take the time out of your day to comment on a video on you or on TikTok that, or YouTube even that you could just swipe out of and go to the next. That is some loser shit. So what I said, appreciate you guys. I love y'all. See you on the next one, guys. Come out.